So I thought I'd do an update on my shrimp tanks today. I haven't done that in a while. I'll take you through each of the tanks and show you what's been going on. Um, if you're new to this channel, make sure that you subscribe. Also, check out AquaticSupportSystems.com for uh, real good deals on shrimp food. We carry Shrimp King, MK Breed, Low Keys, uh, SL Aqua, Glass Garden, Salty Shrimp. So a lot of your uh, you know favorite uh, shrimp products uh, you can get on our website, AquaticSupportSystems.com. All right, let's get started with the tour. All right, so we're just going to start over here with the... Uh four tank rack um, and we'll start like we always do it seems like with the uh, the basic crystal reds they're doing as good as always um, this colony is I don't know three to four maybe five years old and it's just uh, breeding hardy and true and doing well um, not the highest grades in here overall but uh, for crystal reds, I kind of like the lower grade as far as more red coloration on the uh, body of the shrimp. There are some higher grade ones in there as well, um, but these I would consider A through S grade. Typically I do have these available. I sold a bunch of them about a month or so ago at our local um, fish expo um, or aquatic expo, whatever you want to call it. And uh, so I'm letting the colony kind of rejuvenate itself right now. All right, next door is my black pinto tank. These are uh, mixed patterns and grades, and um, there are some uh, Michelings in here too. Um, I do my best to call them out, but I, I see a few more um, in here. And uh, but yeah, this uh, this colony is also doing real well. It continues to breed. Um, you know, um, I see babies all the time, buried shrimp all the time and that type of thing. So overall it's doing well. I'd like to at some point kind of get in there and do a little bit of selective breeding and uh, you know, um, look at uh, getting just the best patterns and the best grade shrimp in there. But for now, I'm just kind of letting it go nuts and breathe. Okay, this next tank here is, um, they're kind of a lower grade, um, fancy red tiger that I got from Eric Lucas recently. Picked up 10 of them and all 10 of them are still alive and doing well. Um, just need to get them a little bit, uh, um, let them grow out a little bit more so they get to the point where they can start breeding. By the way too, on all these tanks that you're gonna see today, except for two, um, feeding the MK Breed Cheeseburger. That's one of the uh, brands of shrimp food that um, I feed. My shrimp, among a few others, and also available on AquaticSupportSystems.com. But uh, these guys are doing well. Oh, there is one crystal red left over. This used to be a crystal red tank. I'm gonna have to pull him out of there. All right, the next tank that we're looking at is the Pure Red Line tank, or PRL. They're doing well, and they've been breeding good uh, as of recently. Um, they moved the food back to the back of the tank here. I had a nice set up in front so that I could see the colony before I started filming and then of course they moved it so we're gonna do our best to take a look at them here but they're doing real well as well all right so the next tank we'll take a look at here is the uh, super crystal reds as you can see they're doing real well I've recently added um, some stock to this tank both from Eric Lucas and Steve Barbie um, and uh, they, they seem to be doing real well. Um, I've seen some babies in here, I've seen some buried females, and I've got real high hopes that I can really get this colony uh, breeding strong um, and that I can make some of these available for, to you guys at some point. But they're just going to town on the food right here, and I'm just enjoying this tank. All right, the next tank we're gonna take a look at is my mixed Taiwan B tank. And as you can see, they are all chowing down on a shrimp lolly. Sorry for the uh, spotted glass there, but uh, this is a shrimp lolly, which uh, we do sell at AquaticSupportSystems.com. This is the Moringa Power 
one that they're using, as you can see, they love it. Almost all the shrimp in this entire tank are just caked on this stick. If you're not familiar with shrimp lollies, what they are is just kind of a stick, almost like they look exactly like one of those sparklers that used to be popular back in the day when people my age were kids. I don't know if they're still popular, but, um, and they've got a food coating on it and uh, the shrimp go nuts for it. As you can see, you just stick it in the substrate and watch the shrimp go to town. Um, in this case, um, this is a mixed Taiwan V tank where I've got blue bolts, red bolts, pandas, shadow pandas, black king kongs, a lot of different things in here. Um, and uh, they, they've been doing great, so um, just continue to enjoy this tank. Next, take a look at the uh, eight tank rack over in the corner here of the room. I've got some stuff kind of in the way, so it makes it a little tricky to get back here right now, but uh, we're gonna do our best. This is the Blue Dream Tank. They're doing good, although the colony has been depleted quite a bit. I sold a bunch of them at our local um, aquatic expo here about a month ago, so. But these guys are still doing good. Um, I don't. I have no doubt that the colony will bounce back, and we'll have quite a few of them in here. So next door here, we've got a uh, red tank, red neo caradina tank. Um, these are. From the line that used to be called the Savage Red. Um, I don't know that I can really call them that anymore because I haven't called in quite a while and uh, they're not looking as dark red as they once did. What I'm probably going to do is um, put these in my 90 gallon planted upstairs real soon and um, set this up as a Caradina tank. As you can see, it's totally overrun with scuds too, uh, so it's time to take this tank down and uh, do something new. And then this tank here, they used to have crayfish, there's no crayfish left. It's going to be taken down and we'll probably set up uh, some sort of a caradina tank there. Uh, the Pinto tank next door here is not doing well. Um, I've been losing shrimp. We're down to less than 10 Pintos left. I'm not sure what has been going on. I know that there was some um, planaria in here, which I'm treating. There's also some scuds, so I don't know if that's killing babies um, and uh, something else, I don't know. But anyway, I mean, there's still a few in here. Most of them are close to adult size. There's one back there. Uh, you can't really, you can see them in the reflection. Uh, there's a good size spotted head there. And uh, one on the back wall, but this tank is also gonna be torn down and uh, just reset up with new substrate. It's time, so we'll do that and uh, hopefully save some of these and get them breeding again or buy some more if need be. Okay, the next tank here is um, another tank where they're going to town on a shrimp lolly. Uh, these are my white slash golden bees. Um, breeding crazily in here. Um, you can see how many shrimp there are. And uh, what's really cool is these came from three different types. A crystal red line that was kicking out probably 50% whites, maybe not quite that much. Um, from red bolts that were kicking out whites and from some golden bees. And over time they've kind of turned into their own line. Once in a real great while I'll see one with crystal red patterns in here, but otherwise they're all what you see in front of you. So I'm pretty proud. Not that this is a popular, super popular line of shrimp, Although I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud that I've been able to do that over time and get them to breed fairly true. 
Okay, down below here are the mixed tie B tank. You can see quite a few different patterns. Some of my black pinto calls are in here. They're doing well. Um, just continuing to watch and see what uh, what comes of these. Okay, this is the Bloody Mary colony. It's doing pretty good. Just kind of letting them go, letting them breed, um, watching them color up as the time comes. Don't have a lot to say about them other than they're not always looking like true Bloody Marys as I had hoped, but over time as they color up, uh, hopefully that'll change. If not, we'll uh, get involved, or we'll, we'll, we'll get a new line and work from there. All right, and the final tank in the basement here is uh, my crystal black tank with one crystal red in there that I can't ever seem to catch. I'm gonna give that another shot today. But they're doing good. I sold a bunch of these at the local expo. Sorry for the angle here, but this tank is literally an inch or two off the floor. Um, so I'm kind of scooted down here and uh, at a bad angle with the camera. But these guys are doing good. All right, I'll go ahead and show you the tanks upstairs now. All right, so this is the Blue Bolt tank up here. Same old story with this. We've got several adults and no babies. Just haven't had any breeding in this tank. I'm not sure if they're all one sex or if there's something going on with the water parameters that they don't like, but uh, I don't know. There's 10 at least that you can see right here and maybe more throughout the tank. They're really nice looking blue bolts, but I just can't seem to get them to breed. So what I'm gonna end up doing is tearing this tank down. This is gonna become a neo Caradina tank, and these blue bolts are gonna go downstairs, either in the mixed Taiwan V tank, or I'm gonna set up a new tank for them. All right, and the wine red tank, we're down to just a couple adults. Not sure what happened in this tank either. It's been a long time coming though, where this population has slowly just dwindled. They're gonna go in the mixed Caradina or the mixed Taiwan B tank, and this is also gonna turn into a Neo Caradina tank. And then the final tank is the 90 gallon planted. Gets you a nice view of that. Sorry for the computer screen screen reflection in the background, but this tank does have fish in it as well. But it's a high-tech planted tank where I am running CO2. I recently picked up 200. Uh, red cherries from uh, Flip Aquatics. Go check them out if you're looking for shrimp. One of the best shrimp retailers in the country, in my in my opinion. I had several in here before too, so there's well over 200 red cherries in here, and they all are, of, for the most part, real good quality. Close to fire red, I'd say. I would like to get some more, so if anybody's got um, large amounts that are looking to sell at a good price, let me know. They need to be fairly good quality like what you're seeing in here. All right, well that's all I've got for the uh, shrimp update today. I wanna thank everybody that subscribes to this channel. Um, I really do appreciate all the comments and the views and everything like that. If you are new to this channel, make sure that you do hit that subscribe button as well as the uh, notification bell. I do regular updates on my shrimp tanks, my cichlid tanks, and my reef tanks, and all things aquatic on this channel. Also, if you're looking for shrimp food or fish food, go to AquaticSupportSystems.com. Um, we do sell quite a wide, wide variety of shrimp food and fish food, and I sure appreciate your business. So until the next video, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.